We have the biggest volume set in the world, and it is spectacular. It looks like something out of NASA. It goes by many names, virtual studio, virtual set. It's the new kid on the block at the moment. What the volume provides in its tool form is an alternative. It's a way of bringing the action back home. It has over 2,000 LED screens. It is completely enclosed. It operates with the camera. There are 92 motion capture cameras, and what those do is solve the position of where the principal camera is. And that information gets passed into Unreal Engine, which is a game engine. It's that next evolution of the ability to see your visual effects live in camera while you're shooting. Ultimately, on the set, there was just this unadorned bridge. Yeah, you've got the castle behind the characters, but then above them, still in the frame, you've got this like smeared castle across the ceiling tiles, which is correct in perspective of the camera, but to your eye looks really, really strange. But then when you go over to the director's monitors in Video Village and just look at what's in the camera, you're transported to where this scene is taking place and you're sort of brought into the, the illusion. It was so great to have something the actors could react to in real time. It's pretty surreal. It's a lot easier, because you're not imagining everything. It's there in front of you. It's a Crispin, wasn't it? It's a Kristen Cole, my prince. Ah, yes, apologies. I couldn't recall. Perhaps my prince recalls when I knocked him off his horse. It was spectacular to look through the lens and see really see where the show comes to life and to give it a real look and texture. The real Dragonstone Bridge is completely impractical to shoot a scene on. This one is a bridge that's been seen in Game of Thrones, and it's this fabulous zigzagging bridge that connects the mainland to a monastery. Because we were able to recreate it from LiDAR scans from the actual set, we're able to shoot in any direction. You can shoot profiles, you can shoot wides, you can be above. In the center, there was like a pivot so they could turn and spin 360. So we'd shoot up the incline one day, and then overnight, magically, we'd be shooting down the incline the next day. They can create a background which is 10,000 feet up in the air in the mountains, and so that gives them the opportunity to be really visually creative. 